anybody who is going to be my 100 my viewers who can receive this? What's inside? You want a jewelry? You want some nice clothes? I know all of us love this food. <laughs> we love food. I love food. All of us love Korean cooking and we love Korean food. Not only Korean food, but also all kinds of food. You know, that's me. I usually make that, you know, all authentic Korean dishes from scratch. But when you go to Korean grocery store and you will see that on the shelf fully packed there, lot of, you know, big and small and kind of ready-made food, pre-made food. Probably you might be wondering how you can eat and also how it tastes like. So this is kind of an emergency food as a Korean home cooking cook. <laughs> so I talked to AT in New York. AT is Korean government. It's Agro Fisheries Food Trade Corporation. AT, Korean government loves you because all of us, uh, we love Korean cooking. And you buy some Korean cooking ingredients so that Korea is getting rich. So we come up with this idea and give away some nice Korean ready-made food during this kind of you know, pandemic uh, situation. It might be very helpful. You can take it out from box one by one and then you can eat it. And 100 box is a lot, isn't it? I like to give you all, everybody, millions of you, but as you know, that's impossible. <laughs> and also you have to live in the USA. So because other countries that, you know, shipping costs, think about, you know, so they can't send you. AT will send you, not me. 100 people, you will get this kind of same box. Sometimes maybe the brand name is different. We are going to open together and cook, reheat, and then eat together. Okay, so are you ready? Let's do! Wow, this is awesome. It's very generous. First, what is it? It's everybody knows. This is, you know, the seaweed snack. Crunchy and kind of as a snack or eat with rice. This is bibimguksu. The problem is there is no English. I gotta wear my eyeglasses. <laughs> so bibimguksu. At the, you know, back of the, this package, it says spicy cold noodles, bibimguksu. And bibimbap. I never tasted this. I like to see what it tastes like. And all this canned food, mipanchan, side dish that you can eat for a long time and keep in the refrigerator for a long time. This is mjolchibokkum, tiny crunchy anchovies, pickled perilla leaves. And this is uh, black beans, braised black beans. And what is it this? This is a crunchy cookie and tea. Ginseng, black ginseng tea, he says. And this is nurungji, you know, scorched rice. When you make rice and on the bottom, kind of a little scorched rice, I, I told you, Koreans love this nurungji. As a nurungji, they sell kind of this way, nurungji. And I can put it here. This is manil hanal. This is frozen dried garlic. I can put it here. And this is kimchi, canned kimchi, rice. You know, kind of black rice mixture, pre-made rice. You don't have to cook and you can reheat. This is potato pancake powder. Oh, this is doenjang jjigae. So doenjang jjigae is a stew, you know, Korean uh, fermented bean paste stew. So this is already ready-made. You can reheat and eat. It's a side dish. Oh, this is so cute. This is made with five flavored berries. It's called the shishendra and uh, omija in Korean, omija. Put it in the refrigerator and cold drink and you can drink. Oh, this is samgetang. It's a chicken, ginseng chicken soup. So I'm wondering, what size of ginseng is inside? Expensive ginseng and jujube, all this inside, nice. This is tteokbokki. Tteokbokki, you know, spicy rice cake. And here you go. Last one. This is 
Korean gochujang, hot pepper paste, kind of a high premium gochujang. Nice. No more. All this stuff, I take all them out. Wow, look at this, a lot, eh? This is a spicy rice cake, and back of this, there is a direction. First, open. This is sauce, spicy sauce, and this is frozen dried fish cake, and this is rice cake. Also this sauce. This is two serving. Take out rice cake. This is throw away this. I'm going to wash it quickly and soak in cold water. I'm boiling two cups of water. So put this rice cake here, boiling water. This is a fish cake. You know, see, already a little bit torn. Easily you can open. And squeeze out all this sauce. Same. So, and stir this. Tteokbokki. So you gotta, you know, cook this. I will just cover and then let it cook around four or five minutes. So rice cake has a starch. So by time goes by, this broth will thicken. It's going to be smooth, soft. If you visit Korea, probably you saw that, you know, tteokbokki vendors on the street, they always like stir, keep stirring like this. Because when they start with this rice cake and this last, you know, broth, really, really thin. As time goes by, it's going to thicken. And then nice, nice consistency now. Texture is, looks so good and soft. That's it. Cook this around five to six minutes. Done. You want some? Wow, spicy. I like it. It's a little sweeter than my recipe and spicier than my recipe, but really good. Spicy food lovers, you will love it. Next, bibimguksu. See, this is noodle. So cute. It's <laughs> so small. Look at that. And sauce. Just only two packages. Add noodles. Just uh, cook these noodles until very soft. There is no English direction, only Korean direction. 3 minutes 30 seconds of cooking until these noodles are still chewy and well cooked. Massage in cold running water until noodles temperature is cold. So easy. Drain this water. It has already sesame oil inside, but I like to add extra sesame oil and mix. While mixing, my mouth is watering. Mmm, <laughs> sweet and sour sauce. This is so good. I love it, especially when I travel. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, Korean food or spicy noodles. And, you know, instead of bringing gochujang, all everything, just I can buy this one package and then making, even in the hotel. If you add some sliced cucumber or one egg, it'll be more, you know, standing out. But without this, it's still really tasty. Compared to my homemade, still homemade is best. Samgyetang, <laughs> ginseng chicken soup. I don't know how much does it cost, but you know, ginseng chicken soup sounds like a really kind of luxury. That's cool. I'm so excited to see inside. Open like this. So here, expiration date. Always check out the expiration date. So here. Let's cover this. I like to add more garlic. So because what we have, why not? I want to see this. Manner, you will see it like this. This each one is one teaspoon. I will just add this. Let's add about 
one teaspoon water. Mmm, smells the garlic. And nice color also, you know, not brownish. Cool. So it smells really garlic, really. <laughs> yeah, already start boiling. Never have too much garlic in samgyetang. You guys who receive this package, you just follow this, how I'm doing this, and you will be so happy, isn't it? <laughs> Even if you don't belong to this winner, <laughs> and you guys can pick up in a Korean grocery store and bring home and then just make this. Wow, it's milky, milky. Chicken meat and even bones, and this is a jujube. And this is chestnut. Yay, this is ginseng. Okay. I cook this over high heat for five minutes. And then five minutes after just boiling, everything is so hot. You know, summertime, Koreans eat samgyetang because to conquer the heat by eating hot, temperature hot food. This is like samgyetang. And then you feel so energized. It makes sense. Good. Broth is so delicious. I love it. I'm surprised that this ready-made food is so good quality. So next, this potato pancake. Open. So half a cup, one cup water. This potato is going to absorb water. So it will thicken soon. Let it sit for five minutes. Five minutes, you see? It's thick. This consistency, I like it. So my pan is heated. Let's put some oil. And add this. I like to add some green onion and really enhance taste and plus also looking. So I'm going to cook this until bottom side crunchy. So use a spatula like this and chop the green onion. When I sprinkle some chopped green onion on top, it looked really, really awesome. You can serve it by itself, but sauce is always good. You remember this seasoning sauce? The mixture of soy sauce, vinegar, and hot pepper flakes. Gochu Korean gochukaru, like a kind of a salty and sour taste. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Okay, done. Here you go. This is gamjajeon, potato pancake. And you can make this size too with one package. Nice. Let me taste. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> More delicious than I thought. Mm. Crunch, soft, chewy. It tastes like a little French fries, but inside is a rice cake. So really good. I like that. So this is side dish, stew, doenjang jjigae. So you can see it, just, you know, all written in Korean. I wish they wrote in English here. But you can see this kind of photo, photo showing some Korean bean paste stew. This is my small two cup, two cup earthenware pot. So this is doenjang jjigae and broth plus inside stuff. 
and it looks like this, you see? And this is my earthenware pot, but you can use any stainless pot too. It says a seasoning paste. Probably it has a doenjang here, soybean paste and other stuff. So just let it boil and then you can just serve. This is bibimbap. You have to see also in a photo. So let's see inside. And you open this, there is a rice, white fluffy rice. So it's here, like around it, a little, give it a little crack. And cook two minutes in microwave oven. So this is namul, so all vegetables. And this is sesame oil, even sesame oil here. And this is gochujang, hot pepper paste. Even this is spoon. Okay, you wanna see this is kimchi? So let me check the kimchi. Hot kimchi, mustard green kimchi. How can you know? This is foro. And let's open. Let me taste. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't post the mustard green kimchi recipe yet. This kind of kimchi, candy kimchi, is when you travel or emergency situation, very useful. Let me taste this kimchi too. Good, but homemade kimchi is the best. And this is melchi bokum anchovy, tiny anchovies. Look at that. Gennip, perilla leaves. And this is braised black beans. You see the beans? I see. Mm -hmm. And this perilla leaves. Perilla leaves taste like a little cooked. Nice side dishes. When you travel, it'll be really cool, you know, or go on a picnic. You can, you know, I brought some Korean side dish. Canned side dish. It's perfect, isn't it? If they have some, you know, lead, it'll be awesome. Now just you eat only a quarter, and then what are you going to do, the leftover? So I hope that, you know, the company, they make that lead so that you can eat so comfortably. You don't have to be really rushed. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, I'll bring my bibimbap. Okay, rice is done. So now, put this rice here. Vegetables. And this is gochujang, hot pepper paste. Fried gochujang, it says. and sesame oil and mix I see the mushrooms some bean sprouts mm. <laughs> my doenjang jjigae nice eh? let me taste I like everything. I love this uh, denjang jjigae taste. Sometimes when you go to the Korean restaurant, their denjang jjigae not tasty at all, you know. But this is just a ready-made product, but surprisingly it's good. And this is kim. You wanna see? Of course you know this what it is. Just in case you don't know, I will just open this. Delicious. This is a Korean hot pepper paste. Five flavor berries juice drink. This color, red color, is a natural color. Cheers, everybody. Five flavor inside. 
sweet, sour, and a little salty and bitter. And what else? Spicy. <laughs> okay, you want to have this box, package. So 100 box is going to be sent to your house. Go to my website and enter this contest. Then two weeks from today, so we are going to choose 100 people using random.org. You got to respond to me quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to choose the next people. AT is going to send to you these packages. I don't have these boxes in my house. AT has. Thank you, AT. Thanks to you guys. And I can do this kind of exciting event. Sorry about that. You guys are living outside the USA. So, but, you know, Today, I showed you how to eat, what it tastes like, you know, all just so I feel like we open together with you, all of you guys. Okay, good luck. Good luck on the contest, everybody. So see you next time. Bye.